Hello, it's Fimpossible Creations and this will be another overview video, so not tutorial for the animation designer. I did some experiment with the Morphin feature to blend idle animation and run animation in order to create a start run and stop running animations. I wasn't focusing to make the animation look beautiful, but it gave me nice results in a short time. Like here you see on the preview what we will discuss about. I used animations from the free package Basic Motions, so I will include animation designer file with which you should be able to display on your side the settings and play with them. And you can do it by importing the Basic Motions animations package, placing dummy object on a scene, selecting it, opening animation designer, and using the file I attach in the video description. Then you will see the settings, I will describe it in this video. Ok, let's go. Ok, first thing was using the apply root motion on the whole model since I am working here on the animation with root motion and, and it helps working with it, but there is one thing that using root motion requires character be set on the 0, 0, 0 position. Now, uh, the start run animation is blending the idle animation to the run animation and adding some additional motion to it and it, in the result it looks like this. So let me disable the modules. Now there will be only morph and some clip animation editing. So that how it blends with a morph. I will also disable morph. In comparison to the original animation, there is some change in the clip time. So when characters, when the animation starts, then it slows down, then it speeds up, and it's done with this curve. So clip time modify, and also I needed to change the clip duration multiplier since this curve is speeding up the animation and it goes crazy. So I just change the duration to be a bit slower the result. Uh, I will show you the original clip. So that's the original clip. And that's how the parameters here are changing the clip. So let's again enable the morph. So this is morph for the all limbs. And it goes with a curve like this, so at the beginning there is 100% uh, of this idle animation, then it goes to the zero and, and a half, it's like not used anymore, you see? But it looks, uh, but it looks like just simple crossfade and we want to make it a bit more complex. So first let's enable the elasticness to add just a little effect, like you see the wobbling that's the elasticness, and it's just a bit. There are the settings, they are pretty simple. There is like whole elasticness set to the about half of the effect, and that's all. And the modificators did a lot here. Let me disable the other ones and let's go one by one with them. So first there is spine modificator, and it just bends the spine a bit forward with curve like this. Oh, whoops! Let me enable it to see anything. Okay. Mm. So when it starts to run, it bends the spine here a bit. At the beginning, I it was like one hundred percent, and I was checking the animation. And it was just too much, so I simply changed the slider to easily control the amount of the effect. So it was not too too much extreme the bending. Yeah, and then I just changed the arms motion. So it adds some movement to the arms. And again there was like too much movement when I started to work on it. Just like this, so it was too much, so I easily suited it out with this sliders. And then there was a modificator for the rotation of the hips, but I added it after setting up eye case, since this 
requires iCase to keep fit on the ground correctly, since you see the whole model is rotating. That's not what I was wanted to have. So let's go to the iCase. And the iCase are actually doing a lot here. Uh, let's disable the motion on the pelvis I applied. And let's disable right leg. Let's focus on the left leg. So the left leg is set to be still positioned, so it will be overriding the original animation of the left leg. I enabled the setting IK position in the world space since this is a root motion animation and it was just pushing the IK forward with like this. So, But I wanted to keep it in the world position so it stays in place. And as you can see, the IK is blended out when the character starting to running. So this IK was keeping the leg on the ground and then letting it go when the animation started to run. And similar thing was with the right leg. Here you see I did some experimenting with the offset, but I set it to zero since it wasn't given the good result I wanted to have. So don't look at these parameters, <laughs> they are zero percent. Oh, I also needed to change the hint offset for the knee since it was going a bit crazy, like you see here, it was like a broken leg almost. So I changed it a bit. I also kept the still rotation. And in the result, it was like keeping the legs on the ground and then letting it go when carcass started to run. And another thing was the offsets I applied to the pelvis. So when character started to run, I pushed the pelvis down, as you can see, with curve like this. So there is negative value, so going up was pushing the pelvis down. And you can see. And I was also pushing at the beginning the pelvis back a bit then pushing it a bit just slightly forward to give some effect. And there's the axis. And letting it go in the right timing. So now when the eye case are enabled, I can show you this hips modificator. And you see it adds effect like this. So without the... So without eye case it looks like this. But with IK, it just looks better. And that's all for the start run. Ah, wait, and there was also some options for the, for the export. So this animation required to enable the force original with root motion. Well, the, the Unity Humanoid Baking API, it can work different with different rigs. So, so often you just need to check if this option helps your export. Sometimes you need to have it untoggled, sometimes toggled. It depends on the rig, and for now it's just hard to detect when it should be enabled. You can read a bit of a tooltip if you need a bit more info about it. And also, since we are working on a running animation which is looped, but the start running we don't want to have loop, I forced the export clip to be not looped. And yeah, that was all for the start to run. Let's switch to the run stop animation, which looks like this. So let's again disable the modules. So the base of the animation without modules looks like this. So it's runs and stopping. And actually I cutted out some of the frames from the running animation, like you see here. It's almost half of the animation is cut down. That's because I don't want it uh, stopping animation to be so long. So I cut it out. And I also needed to speed up the beginning of the clip. So the rest of the animation slowed down. And it required the 
animation clip time to be much increased because with one it was a, a crazy speed. So I went it with 2.5. And also, this clip needed a bit of changing of the root position changing, which is done in uh, modificators. Let me disable all of uh, the modificators. And here you see it. I just used the root transform position change, which is called before everything to have effect on a whole model. But it also triggers animation designer to use this motion as a main root motion translation for the animation clip, but we don't want this. So it can be solved by toggling disable root motion export, but enabling in the additional export settings force original with root motion includes the root motion we want to have in the animation clip, the same as we can see it on the scene preview. So anyway, this root position modificator helps the blending from run to idle animation. And later when we add the eye case, you should see it better. So there we have a crossfade of uh, running to the stop. Let's enable again elasticness and those are the same settings like in uh, start to run. So here I just added also some of the motion of the arms. So when it stops, you see on the curve that there is some motion applied to the arm. This arm as well. Big motion just to make the character to make the character look like it's finding balance to stop. And also some of the spine and hips modificators. So again it's hips modification, so we will need to switch on the eye case. So let me show you the spine. Like here, there is something pushing it back. This also is pushing it back, but you will see it in a while with the eye case. And also I added some of a head look at position modifier with not full override. So when it stops, the head is still looking forward instead of follow the spine motion. Sometimes it can give some more human effect. Okay, let's enable the eye case. So with eye case, it all looks like this. So there in reverse to the start run animation, the eye case are blended in when animation is ending. So here you see the still blend curve, which goes up at the end of the animation. There's also some offsets added to the, to the feet. So when it stops, it's not too much stretched out, but a bit backed out since I'm also pushing back here the pelvis a lot, like you see, to give it more weight to the braking motion. And on the right leg, there is done similar thing, just to make this motion a bit more stylized and then blend in the foot IK position. And the pelvis motion here is very important since you see without it it looks very very dull. But with it it just gives the right feeling to this. Well it can be done better but making the run stop and start running animation was just an experiment for me just to check what can be done. And it seems uh, you can do nice things with it. Okay, so so after exporting the clips, let's export both of them. And make sure that the settings are of the humanoid clip are set up correctly, so you don't have something like loop, and then it just <laughs> goes crazy. 
the start run and stop run animation shouldn't be looped, like you see here. Yeah, if you set loop, it just <laughs> looks weird. And as well as the baking of the rotation of the root and y axis motion, you keep the you keep the x z motion not baked, so it drives by the root motion. And then you can set up it in the animator, for example. There is idle. Actually, let me call the clips so you don't get lost. Yeah, then you go with uh, when the character start, start to run, it starts this animation. It have no exit time, so it can start randomly. It have no exit time, so it will start in any time of the idle animation. Then when we blend the start run animation to the running, you must keep the, you should keep the curves here matching. So it not starts in the wrong time. Like you see there, the legs are just going weird. And with this, it's matching. And then some stopping transition. It have no exit time, so it can start from any time when the running is off, like you see here. And then transition from stop run to the idle. And after all of this, it looks like this. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Hit a like, subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.